we are interviewing, <laughs> interviewing Tirta Ananda Nirta, Nitai. Is that correct? Your name is Tirta? Tirta Atma Tirta Atma Nitai Das. Tirta Atma Nitai Das. Yeah, and that's he correct. He <laughs> is a very well savvy businessman in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And uh, thank you for coming on our show. Uh, today uh, he is talking about his business. So tell us about how you started your business and that, some of the things that you were you're talking about. Uh, uh, how did this begin and uh, what are the trials and tribulations like what you talked about in the beginning of your business you felt uh, that maybe you were being cheated you know how did you get through that when you when you first were cheated how did you feel and how did you get over it well when I first cheated so you feel like uh, like impotent you, know? mm-hmm. you feel very sad and frustrated mm-hmm. and I mean it's not easy to accept in the beginning, you, just, you think, so why is this happening with me? I'm doing everything is good, so why is Krishna doing this with me? You know, I think it's the first thing come to your mind. So why, why, why? It's not easy. Uh, first time when they took me like a lot of money for many, many days, maybe a few weeks I was just thinking why why what Krishna's want to uh, keep me you no know, what should I learn from this it's not uh, not easy first time like in the beginning you feel really frustrated mm-hmm. and uh, sometimes you want to fight with the people who cheat you you want to do the same with them mm-hmm. I think it's the first feeling you think so they cheat me Okay, I will talk with someone to go there and see what he can I do, the push. But uh, after sometimes you feel that if you everything is come to you, good or bad, it's because we deserve. Mm. Because it's very easy, everything's good, people say I deserve. But bad things no one deserves. No one deserves bad things. When you think, ah, this thing is, I mean, bad things we say, no. Uh, why God do this with me? But when good things happen with you, no one complains to God. Mm. Everyone is happy. So, yes, I was talking to my wife, I have that. Bad things also we deserve. And she said, no, I don't like that. I said, yeah, I, we deserve. So, this happened with us because we deserve. We have to learning, so just think why, why Krishna doing this? So what is the lesson from this? Mm. I think this is more difficult for me to understand. Uh, what is the, what should I learn from this? Mm. Okay. Uh, this is a very important lesson. I think uh, one of the things that is said is that you know if you are suffering, if you just simply make this prayer that if if, if this suffering makes you happy my dear Lord, then I shall certainly suffer, right? And then in that, in that prayer, sometimes there's a very big ounce of understanding that comes that's, that says, oh, okay, there's an epiphany that comes in that. So like you're saying is that, what, what should I learn from this? It's so important, or how can I use this? How can I use this to, to go ahead? It's very interesting. So how did you use it? Because now you are a successful hair salesman, you know, and you are, you are doing a lot of, uh, uh, hair sales um, uh, here in Brazil, so this is very excellent. So, uh, tell us about the journey. You were telling us about the trials and tribulations. Uh, uh, so after maybe a few weeks, you know, very frustrated. So I thought that maybe Krishna really want uh, testing me. That, so you really want this? We deserve, you deserve this for so long, so we want money. So, you really want money, so we really want to do this business. So, but it's not easy to get money. So if you want, you need to be strong. Because you, you check, you see in the world, very few people have the worth from the money, no? Most of the people is poor, so it's very hard, no? And uh, everyone want to be rich, but the one have like, uh, how can I say, uh, really have energy. 
to reach you know, the target. So I realized that uh, Krishna want me to be strong. If you want, he's testing me. He's still testing me, not to stop. Mm. Mm. So I think it's this is the most thing I learned. So if you want to do this business, you need to be strong. So they you put to you sometimes very, very down. Very down. And you to check to check if to see if you really want to continue this. Sometimes you want to stop, you know, because it's more like a comfortable we say oh, okay I'm going to work into one more phase. I get some months sorry, don't have any problem. Right. So many times I think about that. I far from what I want, but also I'm so far from where I start. So I think it's not a time to to give up because far from I am far from I want reach, but also very far from where I start. So I think I'm in the middle. So after that, I said I should continue. Not, uh, and also, so many people also uh, maybe we don't know, but many people inspire in your in your what are you doing? I have some employers. I help my mother. I have some also many suppliers. And I'm here in Brazil. Many people I'm give work to them, and the people like. Uh, it's not that only if you have stopped me and my family. It's many people also depends, no? Mm. So me not give up is important for many people. Yeah, so yes it's important for all of your employees because they have to run their families, all of the people that surround you, so you can't give up. So that's 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 the why. The why they say of why you're doing what you're doing. That it's really important to understand the why, and then I guess the how just works it out. So, did you when you first when somebody said you would first sell hair, how did you think about it? You're like, okay, I'll sell hair. Interesting, but how did you find the people that you were working with? Yeah, uh, when uh, people say me to sell hair, I thought that was easy because when I before work with clothes, devotees uh, they show me everything. You come here, buy this, even they say to me, you go and sell it here. So, hair business, no one give you any tip. Mm. You have to learn everything by yourself. So, no one sell, no one telling you anything. Mm. Everything I learn for my own. So, the cost to learn everything by your own is very high. Yes, that's right. Because you buy some things and after you buy, and you see, not good, but you already buy, so frustrate. And you buy another hair, it's not good. People giving you back. So until you find some uh, really supplier, takes so long. Mm. And so it's for selling hair. You you need to have been very determined because it's not a easy way. So I think this is one point that make me love what I'm doing because there's always some challenge. There's so, always some challenge in what you're doing. Yeah. So you enjoy the challenge. Yeah. Rather than now saying, oh no, I'm. why isn't this coming easily? You look at the challenge as a gift from Krishna. Yeah. Uh, it was like a few months ago, I was talking with Ekanath in Mayapur. Then he told me one thing that I I said, yeah, this is true. They told me, Tirta, imagine if your life is only this, like a straight, no problem, everything is good. You have money, you go, you travel, your company is perfect, everything. So it's very boring life. If your life is perfect, it's, it's boring. So it's normal in the life, have some problems. You know? yeah. Even the company, Sometimes we see like people very rich and say, oh, I want this life. This life is perfect. That's yeah, not true. Mm -hmm. no. He has 
different problems mm. of other people, but also mm. if you more money, if you company more big, there's more problem. Right, right, absolutely. So they have more facility, but also much more problem. Yes, you just approach your problems differently. You, know, you can come to your to your problems in the BMW or Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so everyone like has, uh, everyone has challenge and problem. I think that this is the one point. It's not to think, oh, this people is rich, is very happy. Oh, okay. More money, more problem. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we have more facility, but also have more problem. Yeah. So, this is one point that normal people not uh, see. They only see the good things, hmm. but not see the behind of the, uh, no? No, they don't see, they don't realize uh, what's going on behind the scenes. The behind the scenes, right, yeah. right, that is the right. Only see the good things. So, uh, behind the scenes is very hard. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. That's why not very many people do. So, it's, you have your own business, you are free, but sometimes you, not sometimes, you work much more. But you can go to some festival. We are not heavy like if you want uh, uh, have like uh, in the year maybe two three small vacation. You can have. Right. I mean, you not you cannot take like 30 days. It's too much. But right. you can take 10 days after something more 10 days. 10 days, yes. Yeah, yeah. but right. you can enjoy. So for me, this is really good. And uh, I think everything is coming by work, and uh, because I like love what I'm doing. You love what you're doing, and that's really important. I think the the thought process that this is in line with your, with you know who you are as far as your dharma. You know, you like business, and you find a passion for your own business, and you channel that energy, and then you also have your spiritual life. But the main reason you chose this was freedom for service. Yeah. which is very interesting so the key is is that the reason that uh, Birta chose this line of work was for service and that's why he's successful so if you look at that underlying thing that whether subconsciously or consciously he started out as a monk and after he went from being a monk he then he then channeled that energy into his material life so that he can run that edge of the train and then he has his spiritual life also. So the basis is spiritual, so that's why he's successful. And the reason he's successful is because he's persistent. And his conversations with Krishna are on how can I, how can I serve and I understand that I'm deserving of all of this and how can, how can I use this and how can I learn from this. So it's a very humble approach um, in his business. So this is a, a very good example of how to be successful in business.